subscribe my world and don't forget to turn on the notification system so each and every time if I upload any video on YouTube you will be surely notified at first. Hello everyone welcome to my world and today's video is little bit different than any other videos on my channel. Snapdragon launched their new chipset Snapdragon 630. 8th May of 2017. This is the new budget flagship killer. And today we will do a quick comparison between Snapdragon 630 and the Snapdragon 625. The both processors are very good. Before start I want to say that the Snapdragon 625 and Snapdragon 630 both are Snapdragon 600 series processor and the 630 is the newer version that Snapdragon launched recently. According to Snapdragon official website description, Snapdragon 630 is more superior than the Snapdragon 625. And now let's see which one is the best. First of all, speed. The Snapdragon 625 max clock frequency is 2 GHz and the Snapdragon 630 speed is 2.2 GHz. Both processors are based on 14 nanometer fin fit technology and the Cortex A53 ARM based core architecture. Both are octa core processor, but core division is little different. In the Snapdragon 625, the all 8 cores are clocked at 2 GHz, but in Snapdragon 630, the core division is like the first 4 cores is clocked at 2.2 GHz and the last group of quad cores then pins the last 4 cores are clocked at 1.8 GHz. Next up, we have the RAM. The Snapdragon 625 support low power DDR3 at 933 MHz at max clock with the memory size is maximum at 4 GB. At the same side, the Snapdragon 630 supports the low power DDR4 1333 MHz RAM at the max storage of 8 GB. That means Snapdragon 625 can support maximum up to 4 GB of RAM memory which is based on DDR3 architecture. At the same point, the Snapdragon 630 supports the 8 GB in size GDR4 RAM memory. So pretty cool in Snapdragon 630. Next up, we have the GPU comparison. The Snapdragon 625 supports the Adreno 506 GPU which is based on OpenGL 3.1 technology and the Snapdragon 630 supports the Adreno 508 GPU which is based on OpenGL 4.1 technology. So you will be more satisfied with Snapdragon 630 in 3D gaming. The next comparison is about two modems. That means the network technology. Snapdragon 625 supports X9 modem that you can download up to 300 megabits per second and you can upload up to 150 megabits per second. At the same side, Snapdragon 630 has the X12 modem that means you can download up to 600 megabits per second and upload up to 150 megabits per second. Also in turn of connectivity, the Snapdragon 625 support the Bluetooth version of 4.1 and at the same side, the Snapdragon 630 support the Bluetooth version is 5. That means you can get more covered area in Bluetooth and more speed over the Bluetooth in Snapdragon 630. Both chipset can support the maximum at 1080p screen. In the terms of charging, the Snapdragon 625 supports the Qualcomm Quick Charging 3.0 and the Snapdragon 630 supports Qualcomm Quick Charging 4.0. In the terms of camera, the Snapdragon 625 supports 24 megapixel single camera and in the dual mode, it can support 13 megapixel. It can record 4K videos up to 30 FPS. And it has also 2x ISP and the hexagon DSP that means you can take very much good pictures in low light. At the same side, the Snapdragon 630 support maximum 24 megapixel in single camera. In the dual mode, it can support 16 megapixel and it can record videos up to 4K with 30 FPS. It also supports Spectra 160 ISP. It can provide you the zero shutter lag and optical zoom. In the terms of DSP, the Snapdragon 630 has the Hexagon 642R DSP. That is far better than the Snapdragon 625. That means you can click very good pictures in low light than the Snapdragon 625. In the terms of image processing, Snapdragon 630 is more superior than the Snapdragon 625. And all over, Snapdragon 630 is more superior than the Snapdragon 625. And also in the terms of benchmark, the Snapdragon 630 has more benchmarks than the Snapdragon 625. 
That's why the Snapdragon 630 takes the crown in this battle. And uh, that's all for this video. I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, then press the like button. If you don't like, press the dislike button. Give me your opinion about this video or what do you think which one is better and why. So yeah if you like this video then share it and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button so each and every time if i upload any video on youtube so you will be surely notified at first so at last thanks for watching i hope i will see you guys in my next video and have a great day